So today we're going to be checking out another MacBook. This says, okay, Genius Bar, Work Authorization. So it says, Customer states device no longer powers on. Steps to reproduce. Uh, verify device is unresponsive. And knowing using a known good power adapter, the charging LED shines. Response to SMC reset, but device doesn't power on. Give permission to open device and manually reset SMC. Got permission to reset SMC. Damn. That is some harsh working conditions there at the Genius Bar. We got the permission to reset the SMC, but device still doesn't power on. Fans don't even spin up. Attempted to short power on pads while well, the device was connected to AC power and had its battery disconnected, but the device still doesn't power on. Proposed resolution. Device will need logic board replacement with Apple turnaround time is five, seven days, 475. It's actually not bad. That's, a, that, that's not an Apple price, like 475? Huh? I know, like that, that's not terrible. Apple's... Apple almost didn't rip somebody off. Wow. I didn't read it. 475 for a board? Replacement? Oh. Wow. Oh, yeah. Out of warranty, I too. I spoke to her, yeah. That, that's a pretty good deal, right? Uh, this never happens. Oh, my God. This is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is ethical. This has to be a... No, I'm just, I'm just I'm dumbfounded. Let's figure out what's wrong with this MacBook. Damn. Apple did not rip somebody off there. Holy shit. Never thought I'd see the day. Maybe I should start drinking again. So this is an 820-4924 board. We're going to check this out and see why it doesn't want to work. Let's get our multimeter on the screen, check out our rails. So this is drawing 30 milliamps and not turning on. One of the only rails I can really check up here that's a low-level rail is the PP bus. PP bus G3 hot is 12.6 and steady. So next up, we're going to take this board out of the case and try to figure out why it's not turning on. All right, PP bus is there. PP342 is there because we got a light in the charger. We're going to check out our clock rail. Clock is 3.4. PP5 ES5 is 5 steady. PP3 V3 S5 is so you. But you're missing. Huh. All right, let's see if you're short to ground. Shorted? Hmm. What is shorting you to ground? So we could inject voltage into that rail and see what's shorting it to ground. All right, so we're going to attach. Probably another dog. Call it guess. Come on, you bastard. Get soldered in there. That's the shittiest auto joint ever, but this is just to blow something up, so who cares. Okay, next up, attach the ground wire. I'm going to take the CPU heatsink off, just in case this is the CPU getting warm, because the CPU does use 3.3 volts. Holy crap! 7 amps at 3 volts. How am I going to find my short with all this freezing air? <laughs> it's f***ing cold. Close the door. Alright, CPU doesn't appear to be warm. Ah, oh, something over here is, because I saw bubbling. Oh, I can hear fizzing. Let's see if you can hear that. This is a DPA 4066 microphone. It's omnidirectional, so... That is the DPA 4066 playing the sound of a short circuit being burned out of the motherboard. Let's take a look at that area and see what's going on. Oh, hey, look. Somebody said that 475 is the Apple price for no water damage? Well, what's that? Because that looks like some water damage to me. That sure does look like some water damage. That's burning. Damn, look at that. That is some short circuit right there. That's a nice smelling short. 
yummy. All right, let's see if our short goes away. Oh no, that short is still there. I cannot live stream, I don't believe I can live stream from the GoPro. Pretty cool if I could. There's a phone app for the GoPro, but it's so clunky and slow and painful. It's really painful. And sometimes it'll let you download a file from the GoPro, but then you can't even play it in the damn GoPro app. It's like, it's like ah, awful. Ever since you made that analogy about wiping your ass to get a dry versus clean, I just want you to know that I think about you every time I wipe my ass now. But the question is, do you think about me as you dry your ass, or do you think about me as you clean your ass? Because if you're thinking about me as you dry your ass, I would be incredibly disappointed. Incredibly. Incredibly, intensely, Aggravated. Incredibly. 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 Intensely. Aggravated. Incredibly. Dis disgusting. It's a disgusting practice of complete disrespect. Okay, now we just dry off the board before we turn it on. Should have paid your light bill. You bought an outfit. Fan spin? Fan spin? Oh, this is that piece of crap 2015-16 one where the fan doesn't spin until it gets really hot. And here we go. I so just heated the board and the CPU with a heat gun. Uh, it got really hot. And the fan is spinning. The fan is spinning! Short circuit. Fixed. With the help of alcohol. This short was actually such a simple one, you could have just found it by looking at it. So, yeah. I, I like the $900 thermal camera. I think it's a great tool if it was sold for, for $200. But as you can see, the old method, good old alcohol, and uh, yeah, alcohol on the short still works and is very cheap and is an easily accessible method for people to use if you do not have the disposable income to throw away on a stu uh, super expensive thermal camera. And the other benefit of the alcohol is that once you have all this alcohol on your desk, it makes it easier to clean your desk. So you're kind of cleaning your desk as the work day goes. Look at that, folks. Look at this clean workspace I've got here. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Don't delay, fix your MacBook today. So that's it for today. And as always, I hope that you learned something. Do you have a MacBook that needs to be fixed? Come by our store which is open to the public at 186 First Avenue in Manhattan. Are you located outside of New York? No problem. Send us a machine from anywhere in the world by going to our website and clicking on the mailbox or simply heading over to sendyourmacbook.com. That's sendyourmacbook.com where you'll be redirected to our mail-in instructions page that includes the form and the directions on how to send us a MacBook for repair. We have a live chat where you can speak with us about the repair that you need, a phone number where a representative will pick up during our open hours, and a contact form where you can contact us about repairs.